All right, so now I'm going to do a uh, quick test to see what happens if uh, the bottles, the oil bottles, get tipped over. I'm going to find out if they're going to cause some catastrophic fire um, or if they burn out. I'll do a couple of different tests, one with the bottles out of the UCO lantern and one with the bottles inside the UCO lantern as if I was using it in the camper. We'll test that out. All right, the candles are lit. Got the fire extinguisher right there. We're gonna do a tip over test. Okay, so as you saw, that's a definite fire hazard. All right, so that's uh, definitely a no-go for having the oil candles um, just sitting on the counter someplace uh, in the camper. That would cause a major fire and uh, don't recommend doing that at all. We're going to do the test. The next test is going to be with the uh, UCO Lantern. Um, with the candles inside the UCO lantern, and we're gonna do a tip over test. All right, they're all burning. Tip it over. All right, so I left it tipped over for about a minute, and uh, it didn't light up. You can see there's no scorching on the UCO lantern. Two of the candles went out. One, uh, two of them stayed stayed lit. All right, so I wouldn't use the uh, candelier uh, lantern with the uh, oil candle conversion inside the camper uh, either because. Uh, if it did get tipped over, the candles don't go out. Um, they stay lit, and um, at least two of them stayed lit. Two of them went out, but um, there was oil dripping uh, out of the two top candles onto the two lower candles, um, which would uh, definitely pose a fire hazard. So that's not going to happen inside the camper. Um, it, if it gets tipped over, it will be... Uh, catastrophic fire. Okay, so now I'm going to do the uh, test using the UCO candles, uh, the stock candles, the three candles that came with the UCO candelier. Um, see what happens there on a uh, tip over test. All right, so I'm going to light the uh, UCO lantern with the standard stock candles, the three candles. Okay, all three candles are burning on the uh, UCO. We'll tip it over. All right, so they burned for about 20 seconds and then uh, all three of them went out made a mess on the globe but no major fire hazard there without some type of uh, anti tip over device or uh, modification to that candelier um, don't use it with the oil candles if it gets tipped over uh, it causes a major fire so that won't be happening in my camper um, shouldn't happen in yours either. You could use it outside. Um, just make sure that it doesn't get tipped over. It looks like the worst thing that would happen with the candles is you'd have some wax clean up and uh, you'd wake up cold. The candles would go out, wouldn't cause a fire. Um, you would uh, just not have any heat. All right, so one thing that you could do to prevent uh, tip over 
is you can screw the base of the UCO candelier down to a cutting board. Um, I've got this um, 13 by 12 bamboo cutting board. Um, you could run a couple of pilot holes through the base of this candelier and run some wood screws down into it. That way you could just remove the, uh, the aluminum part uh, of the, uh, you know, the globe and the um, diffuser from the candelier and uh, light your candles or whatever um, and then, you know, put it back on and that way the base stays screwed down to uh, a, a more stable surface where even if it gets bummed, it's less likely to get tipped over that way. All right, so once again, I don't recommend doing this in your camper. Um, even with it screwed down to, uh, you know, a, a more stable surface, it's still a, um, a fire hazard. If it gets tipped over somehow with the oil candles, with the wax candles, I had no problem with it. The candles just went out after about 20 seconds after I tipped it over. Um, I, I think it's probably, or that's already been tested and um, that could be used. However, with the three candles, um, using the UCO candles, it's very expensive, number one. And uh, number two, you can only, you're only using three candles. So your uh, BTUs, your heat uh, goes down. Um, they've rated it at 5,000 BTUs. I'm not sure if it's actually 5,000 BTUs, but um, uh, I would imagine it, it's you know a little bit less heat that uh, you would get out of it than with the oil candles. But that being said, um, I, I really like the candelier. I'll continue to use it uh, for outdoors, um, you know, on my uh, picnic table or out on the patio. Uh, um, if I am camping with it. Um, I will be uh, making sure that it's on a surface that's very stable and there's no flammable materials around if it does get tipped over. Um, I, I, I'm not going to use it with the oil candles. I'm only going to use it with the wax um, uh, UCO candles. But like I said, they are uh, not very cost effective. The light is really good. The heat's pretty decent and um, it's uh, uh, still a, you know, a, a fairly good way to light your campsite.